G'day guys, Shane here. Today I'm going to do some black magic and cross some mobile photography, night photography, light painting photography with some DSLR mirrorless light painting gear. Will it work? Who knows? Let's try. We've had this excavator here getting a uh, dam dug on our farm here. If you want to learn more about that, just check out the second channel. And what I thought before they go and pick this up, because the job's done now, I asked them, can you leave it here overnight, sit it over here, and I want to take some photos of it for you guys. So that's what we did. I asked Troy, the operator of this machine here, if he could move it to where it is now, but I didn't tell him which way I wanted it orientated, so I needed to work out how to move it. Five minutes later. And now that it's moved into the position that I want, let's compose a photo. We've got the iPhone 14 Pro Max sitting on a tripod here. This is the Explorer Photo Video tripod, red hot tripod. It doesn't have to be an iPhone, it doesn't have to be this tripod. This is just a really good combination. What I'm showing here today, it can work with any phone. Any iPhone can do this, the principles of the light painting that I'm talking about. Um, the process is a little bit different for Android phones and Pixel phones and, and so forth. So we've got it on here, we'll open up the phone. And what I'm gonna do here is set the camera up in the, on the tripod here using a torch to shine onto the excavator so I set the excavator in the photo where I want it to be. At the moment, the light from the video here is showing in there and I can see the excavator pretty well. So I'm gonna turn this off. Now we can see nothing. I'll turn the torch on. There's the excavator at the front of the excavator. There's the back of the excavator. I'm just gonna move this up so the front of this is sitting as close to the ground as I can, close to the bottom of the photo as I can right about there because I still want stars in the photo. So, and this arm will give a leading line to the image as well. I think this is going to be pretty good and you can even see some stars up there in the top, um, top left hand corner of the frame here of the photo. So I think that the composition of that is pretty good. Now it's time to take some photos. First of all, I'll take a shot, just a night mode photo, 30 seconds long and let it take a photo, get some stars. You're probably gonna get a silhouette of the tractor and that's about it. If you're on a different sort of phone, I've done lots of tutorials about 30 seconds on Android phones using manual mode and so forth. Go and have a look at those. It'll show you how to set your phone up for this. But for what I'm doing here for the iPhone, it's a simple matter of going to night mode, pushing the button and letting it take the photo. This is the photo I end up with. That's exactly what I expect it to do. It's a silhouette of the arm, silhouette of some trees behind there, some stars in the sky and a bit of a magenta cast, which is really interesting for those who watch this channel a fair bit with other apps. What we're going to do now is use this torch. This isn't a torch that I can change the uh, intensity and brightness of. So we're going to use this. I'm going to light paint the arm, light paint the side of the tractor, and we're going to build this with different tools. We'll see how this one works. Then I think the second one that we're going to use is probably going to be better. But anyway, let's do this one first. It's important not to do it directly from the same angle as the camera. You want it to go a little bit of an angle from the camera and this is what you end up with. That's not too bad, it's a bit too bright, and because I've got a torch that doesn't adjust, we'll need to shine it for less time. So I'll do that, and we'll see what happens. Much less time on the, there we go, that'll do. Over the arm, on the tractor, turned off. That's a lot better. I could probably keep on going with the torch and get better results by painting the ground in front of it a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit dark there a bit more of the bucket at the front and possibly even from the back. There's a couple of things I don't like about this. One is it didn't take, I didn't do enough painting on the ground, but that's easily overcome. There's not enough depth to the photo. We're gonna try a different tool first. We're gonna try this. This is the Godox V1. This is the flash that I use for my photography on my Sony mirrorless camera for weddings and things like that. Now, I've got a good diffuser on the top here and that's, that's kind of important. Um, it's going to diffuse that light, so it's not as harsh as what this light is. And because this is adjustable in intensity, just like a regular torch, but it's going to give you that burst of light rather than painting the light. And why that's important is for days where it's a little bit like today and, and it's a little bit windy, or tonight I should say, on this subject it doesn't matter too much. But if you've got a tree that's blowing in the wind, a flash, a strobe if you like, from something like this, is going to freeze frame those leaves on that tree. So it's not going to be blurry. And that's kind of important if that's the sort of photograph photo that you're going for. Anyway, I'm going to set this up to probably 1 64th maybe power, and we'll try it. It can go really bright, 
Um, but I think with the way that computational photography on this works, I want it lower. Probably not as low as it can go, but I'll go say one or two steps up from the lower setting and we'll try it and we'll see how we go. 30 seconds, there we go, taking a photo. I'll just duck around to the front of the machine, hit it once with the strobe, bop, there it goes. Duck around to the side like I did before with the torch. I'm only doing this once, I'm not gonna do it multiple times. Because this diffuser that's on here is a dome sort of a diffuser, um, it throws the light out pretty wide. So we should be able to get just with that two shots alone. We'll see how we go. That worked incredibly well. I'm really impressed with how well that worked. What I like about this is that it's got a good coverage across the whole machine, across the ground as well. Only two bops, if you like, two bops, two flashes, two strobes, just like this. That's it. Just two of those, one from the front, one from the side. One sixty-fourth of the power is actually pretty bloody good. The sky looks pretty good for an iPhone. Is that all we want to do? I want to add more to this. There's not enough depth to this photo. I think I want to put more light onto it. I'm going to try two things. One, I'm going to put a light inside the cabin first. I'm going to use this small rig light here. It's got a diffuser on it. The thing I like about these is that I can bring the intensity right down to 1% in percentage increments. So I'll put it on 1%. I'll put a color on there, maybe a green color, because it'll contrast well enough with that orange. Now, green or blue, one of them will work. And then we'll try the same photo again. So I'll put this inside the cabin and we'll do it again. I've got a feeling it's gonna be too bright. Anyway, we'll try it. I'll take the photo. As you can see what we're doing here, we're slowly building the photo, building the light. The torch, a little bit too intense. A little bit too much work as far as painting it all goes. This is working really well. I'm really happy with the, the difference in light between the sky and the ground and the machine. I'll put that light in there now. We'll see what happens. I'll turn that camera around for you. I'll hit the shutter button. It's taking a photo now. I can see that light in the cabin. I'm a bit, a bit concerned it's probably too bright, but we'll see. There's one pop from the flash. Go around the side here, another pop, that should do, and we'll see. I think this is going to look pretty good. It does look good, I'm really happy with that flash. I don't know why I haven't tried this before, that that's really, works really, really well. There's a couple of things I don't like about this photo. One, that light in the cabin is too intense, so I'm going to have to do something with that, and it's on 1% already. Probably have to turn it upside down, put it on the seat and but put it facing the seat and the light will just seep out from the edges of the diffuser. And the shadows that are in this, I don't like. The behind the machine is not lit up very well. So I think what I need to do is put one or two more flashes in this. I'm gonna to have to go from the front and then from the side like I have already. And then I might have to duck around and do it from the back to get rid of some of that shadow from in front of behind the bucket there. And maybe add a little bit more detail of the tracks at the back. Now I've got to do all that in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I could use an app like Even Longer or Reflex here, or Re-Expose, and let it go for longer, but the stars will move in that time, and I don't want that to happen. Anyway, let's see how I go. I've just adjusted that light. I've turned it upside down, put it in the seat, One, and I know it's on. One of the ways that you can tell this is probably going to be okay with the amount of light is that I can't see it from here with the naked eye. I know it's on. There'll be some light in there, but it's so dim that I can't pick it up, but the phone will. All right, let's take a photo, run around the tractor and take lock, put, put in three or four flashes, we'll see, and we'll see what we get. That worked really well. This is staying with me when I do these sorts of photos, because this is bloody awesome. How, <laughs> I'll be out of breath running around the tractor. Um, how good is that? It's nice and sharp, it's nicely in focus, the stars look pretty good as the galactic core season brings comes around and it's probably another month or so so if you're into this sort of thing make sure you subscribe because we'll be doing this a lot with different subjects probably even people people will work with this quite well with this sort of a, 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 a lighting technique all the bases are covered exactly the way i wanted to do it really bloody good photo very happy with that thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time